Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on my video. This is Rocky here with my top moments from episode 15 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So let's go ahead and just get right into it. Number 4 top moment of the episode, Origins of the Real S.H.I.E.L.D. Throughout the episode we are treated to some great flashbacks from the day S.H.I.E.L.D. fell from the Captain America the Winter Soldier movie and they are meant to kind of fill in some gaps for us. Bobby and Hartley are sent by Fury to secure Gonzalez from his carrier, and Bobby is also instructed to destroy the ship as it had some pretty serious cargo on it. The true birth of this new shield came from the disobeying of Fury's last orders. Now what could they possibly have on board that ship? Number 3. Bobby is conflicted. I really enjoyed all the scenes with Adrian Palicki as I felt she did an amazing job portraying Bobby's doubts about her actions. While in the flashbacks, she looked pretty sure of herself, in the present, this is so not the case. I could just imagine the voices going on in her head, questioning almost every action she took in this episode. She performed her duties as an agent, but she was definitely not happy about doing it. We did get a short but entertaining fight between Bobby and May. Wish it would have lasted longer, but honestly the best part was how hurt May was at being betrayed. By the end of the episode, I think Bobby may have decided to go Team Coulson all the way. Number 2. Open the Box Coulson affirmed that he is the true director of S.H.I.E.L.D. in his scenes with Gonzalez. Coulson and his team have been busting their butts trying to track down lost agents, while Gonzalez has been hiding on his carrier. I just love the hypocrisy of the real S.H.I.E.L.D. as they claim that secrets are what brought S.H.I.E.L.D. down, but all they have been doing is keeping secrets. Coulson has some really great lines in these scenes, in particular when he asks why didn't Gonzalez just reach out to him. Instead he sent traitors onto his team and hurt Coulson's people. And that my friends is something you just don't do. Remember these people are like family to Coulson. The best part is at this point Gonzalez has no idea how to open Fury's toolbox. Number 1. Sky is Elsa. Well, not really. So you all know I really like Sky's character development this season, but with this episode I've made some serious connections between her character and Elsa from the Disney movie Frozen. Okay, okay, bear with me now. So let's take a look at some of the similarities. Both have powers capable of great harm and beauty as seen by Sky in the twirly water. Fear leads them to not being able to control their powers. Last but not least, they both get special gloves meant to block their powers. Okay, now Sky did have some really great moments in this episode. She finally meets Gordon and I loved how he only wanted to make her feel safe, secure, and connected. This is the exact opposite of how she's been treated by S.H.I.E.L.D. thus far. But she's still kind of hesitant to take his offer to go with him to meet the others. We learn that the safe house she's at was actually built by Banner and it actually includes its own Hulk fist impression. No extra charge. Sky ends up getting attacked by the real shield and while Bobby instructs them to use icers as she's a fellow shield agent, they all seem to be using actual bullets and are fully intent on killing Sky. This is when we get to see Sky actually use her powers in the form of like a pressure wave that stops the bullet fired at her as well as knocks Bobby and the douche agent back as well as she levels a good portion of the forest near the retreat. This was the push Sky needed to ask Gordon for help and to take her to the other Inhumans. Okay, so my final episode thoughts. Whew. I don't know about you, but I am so glad this episode picked up the pace as the last couple of episodes were pretty dull. We get great background information and advancement in the real S.H.I.E.L.D. storyline. Some really great confrontation between members of each team. For me though, I really loved all the advancement with Sky. I am so glad she's finally going with Gordon to meet the other Inhumans and learn to use her powers. This was an aspect of her character that they have drawn out a bit too long in my opinion, so again glad they are moving it along. We continue to get a lot of Civil War stuff as it is pretty much confirmed that Gonzalez's shield wants to get rid of people with powers, while Coulson's team is more about helping and working with them. Looks like next week we continue with the action as Coulson works to save his team and Sky gets some inhuman help. Alright guys, so that's my thoughts on the episode. Go and let me know down in the comments section below what you thought about this episode. And if you have any questions, 
or comments or anything about any of the characters or anything brought up in the episode, go and put those down in the comments below as well. Be more than happy to go over that information with you. If you've enjoyed the video, I'd ask you to go ahead and pound that like button and subscribe to my channel. That way you can receive an alert when I post my next Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. video as well as the other Marvel and DC videos I'm going to be doing. And if you have subscribed already, thank you very much. I really appreciate you coming on board and I hope you're enjoying the videos. Alright guys, all that being said, I hope everyone has a great rest of your day now. Bye!